Today we're going to talk about how to select stuff inside your database and this is also going to be very relevant when you do actually get to the PHP part inside your code where you need to select stuff from the database using PHP code. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we have our database selected, our PHP lessons, and we're going to go back up to the SQL code part. Now in here we can actually write all kinds of SQL code that interacts with the database, including selecting specific things from our database. Now, if I go ahead and start writing some code here called select, and then we could actually select maybe subject from, and then we need to tell it which kind of table we want to select something from. So we're gonna say posts. If I go ahead and run this now, we're actually gonna select all subjects from our posts table. Meaning that if I run this, you guys can see we get subject. This is the subject. And we do actually only have one subject or like one uh, piece of data inside our table called post, if I show you guys. Um, which means that we're only gonna get one thing when we do actually you know, select something from this table. Now we can also go ahead and write something else using SQL code, if I go back here, uh, where we can say select all by writing star or multiplication or whatever you might call it, space from posts. So now we're actually selecting everything from posts. So if I say go, you guys can see we get the ID, we get the subject, we get the content, and we get the date. So selecting different things from the database might come in handy when let's say you're inside your PHP code and you're writing stuff that you need to do on the website. and we have a user that wants to log in into your website and he goes in and types his username and his password. And then we need to go in and check if that username and password exist inside the same row inside our database. Now, when they do that, we can make a select statement that goes in and checks if this is actually true. You know, if uh, the username is this, then we also need to make sure it has this password you know, and match them inside the database. So this is the way we're gonna select stuff from the database. Now, just to show you guys a couple of more, if we go into the SQL code again, and I wanna say select all from post where, and then we can actually go ahead and say ID is equal to, and then I'm gonna say single quotes, one. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select everything from post, but only where ID is equal to one. Now, right now, like I said, we do only have one piece of data in here. So right now, ID is of course gonna be equal to one, um, which means that when we do actually, you know, actually go up and run this piece of code, we will of course get this line of code, which we have inside our post table. But as you guys can see, it does actually highlight with a small yellow orangey line that ID is in fact equal to one where we did actually go into select it from. So we can actually go ahead and add these sort of things. Now, just to show you guys one more, if you go back again, but SQL code, we can say select all from posts where ID is equal to one and and we can actually write and or, we can write or in order to get something out. So now if the ID is equal to one and subject is in fact equal to, let's actually say equal to, there we go. This is a subject. If that is correct, let me just go double check. This is the subject. Of course that makes sense. This is the subject. So now it should in fact spit out the same row. If I actually go ahead and copy this, just so I can paste it in later, you can see we get the same row again, but now it's actually checking for both of these and checking if they're actually true. Now, if I go back again and write in the code again, and I change the text inside my subject, let's say I made a spelling error, and instead of S, we get F. So diff is the subject. Now it's actually gonna tell me that there was zero results because we did not have any where subject was equal to this and ID was equal to this. So if I go back again, paste this in again, we can actually write this again and instead of and, we can write or. So now it's checking if ID is equal to one or the subject is equal to this, 
which is it in this case it's not so if i go ahead and say go you can see we still get this row so this is a couple of ways you can actually select stuff from the database. And again, this is gonna be the exact same way we're gonna select stuff from the database using PHP code. So learning SQL programming is quite useful if you're learning PHP code because you will actually be doing a bunch of these commands. Now, in the next episode, we're gonna talk about one called update, where we do actually go in and update the database in here. And after that, we've actually pretty much learned the ones I think it's necessary for you guys to learn before we start doing something with PHP code using these SQL commands and actually doing stuff with the database. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.